All right, so I finished my recipe and there it is ready to go into the oven. And I realized I didn't do anything in the beginning to tell you what I was even making or what was going into it to begin with. And I've cooked all of my peppers and used a red pepper in the mixture that go, that's filling the um, yellow, green, and red pepper shells. So what we have here is Parmesan cheese, Oreo sauce, some Italian seasoning, some red pepper flakes, some garlic, and some celery, and a shallot. Now, I call this one whole shallot. You might think it's two, but this is one whole shallot, some salt, pepper, and I'm using Himalayan um, salt today. So basically, you're going to cut the um, celery and the red pepper, the shallot, and mix the garlic in a pan together and get it nice and sauteed and translucent over olive oil on medium heat. And then you're gonna add your one pound of ground beef and then um, you're gonna drain everything. And then um, once you do that, you'll um, be ready to add the sauce and the cheese and make your stuffed uh, peppers. And this is what it looks like when you're done. So I've got several little videos I'm gonna clip, uh, clip together and make sure that you see the process as we go, but this is the beginning. I just forgot to film it earlier. So, here we go. After you saute the vegetables, add your pound of ground beef. Add this much oregano, which is about a tablespoon, several pinches of salt, a tiny little bit of red pepper flakes, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. And mix well while you're browning the meat. Once you've drained your ground beef mixture with the vegetables, add about a cup, half a cup to a cup of the um, RAO marinara sauce or the tomato basil, whichever you have, and add about the same amount, about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. This is what is gonna go into the peppers once it's mixed together. So you just work with the consistency and find something that you like that works that's not too thick, but that's also not runny. And you'll be able to fill the peppers. And um, once you fill the peppers, I'll show you what we're gonna do to cover them up and put them in the oven. And um, we'll go from there. While you're waiting on your ground beef mixture to cook down, you wanna finish that and drain the fat from the mixture and add back to the pan. Meanwhile, shake Italian seasoning all over your peppers that you have cut in half and taken the seeds out of. And if you have any peppers that have a point at the bottom, go ahead and cut the bottom so that it sits, it sits evenly in the pan then drizzle all of the peppers with olive oil generously because they're gonna be going into the oven and cooking up and you want them to be nice and moist. Also, I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of water at the bottom of this casserole dish, probably, I don't know, that much, half of an inch, just to make sure that this doesn't burn so that it has something to sit into so that it won't overcook the peppers. Okay, the peppers are loaded up and I've got the water in the bottom of my casserole dish. And if I've taught you anything, it's to always have a pan underneath items that you're baking because if things fall over and burn onto the oven, it will smell your house up and everything that you are cooking is going to smell like that burned food. So I've learned the hard way, so make sure you have a cookie sheet under your casserole dish if you've got a, a lot going on, which this is in a tight casserole dish so that it stands up straight, but there's a lot going on and I've filled the peppers pretty generously with all the sauce. I've added Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese, and now I'm gonna drizzle over some olive oil. Now, these are gonna go into the oven and cook for probably 45 minutes at 350 and I'll show you a picture when we're done of the plate and how they turned out and I hope you enjoy. It's a great alternative to spaghetti on a hot summer day with just a stuffed pepper instead and it doesn't have all the carbs that go with it. So enjoy and have a great day.